Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we will show you how to roast the Lineage OS ROM which is based on the latest Android 13 version using the Magisk app. So let me first show you, I am using a OnePlus 70 phone which is having the latest Lineage OS 20 version which is based on Android 13. As you could see from the updated section of the app, it's the Lineage OS 20 version based on Android 13. So we will now root this phone using the Magisk app. Do note that this process is applicable across all the Android phones and across all the version of Lineage. You could also use it on Lineage OS 18, 19, 20 or any older version as well. Similarly, it could be used across all the Android phones. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, let me show you the status. So I'm using a root checker app and let me restart this app. So if I launch the root checker app, you could download it from Play Store and tap on verify root. It's showing that the root is not properly installed. Likewise, if I open the emulator app and type in the SU command, as you could see, I'm currently getting the SU program is not found on this device. This means that the phone is not rooted. So we will now root our phones and then we will check back the result. So without any further delay, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to download the latest Android SDK platform tools. The link for that is given in the description. So go to this guide and download it. Once you have downloaded it, just extract it anywhere on your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in the E-Drive. Let me show you once. While it's loading, make sure to download from this link and extract it on anywhere on your PC. Once that is done, yes. So here's the platform tools folder I'm talking about. This is all the files of the platform tools folder. So download and extract it on your PC. Once that is done, your next course of action is to download the Magisk app. So I've given the link in the description. You can download it from here. Just click on the latest version. At the time of recording, it's 25.2. So click on it and it will take you to that version. And I've also given the change log. You can re-verify from the change log as well. If you want to verify some information before downloading it, if it's well and good, then just click on the download button. And it will download the Magisk app directly from the GitHub official source. So once the app has been downloaded, transfer it to the platform tools folder on your PC. This is the, and then rename it to magisk.zip. For example, let me show you what I mean. So once you download this for app, you will have to copy it on the platform tools folder. So let me do so once again for you. And by default, the app will be named something like this. So what you need to do is you need to change the APK to zip format so that it could be flash file lineage OS recovery. So right click on the APK file and then remove the last three letters from APK to zip. You will now get a prompt on your laptop. Click on yes to re-verify the changes. Likewise, I also recommend you to rename the file so that it becomes easier to type in the command window. So let's rename to something shorter. For example, let us rename it to just the magisk. So it will become now easier to type in the CMD window. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging on your phone. So go to the settings menu on your device. From settings, go to system. Sorry, first go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer options. Once that is done, go to system. You should now see the developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will now get a prompt on your device. Tap on OK. Let's now verify the debugging connection as well on our PC. So go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window with the platform tools folder directory. Now type in ADB devices and you should get a serial ID. As you could see, I'm getting a serial ID. This signifies that the connection is established successfully. However, if you are not getting any serial ID, then you could try disabling the toggle of debugging and then re-enable it. Likewise, you could tap on revoke USB debugging and retry the process. Similarly, make sure to use a USB 2.0 port and not a USB 3.0 port. Likewise, you should only use a USB cable that came shipped with your phone and supports the ADB support. So if that's well and good, re-verify the process and make sure you are getting the serial ID. So if you are getting the ID, then you are good to proceed ahead. So our next course of action is to boot our phone to the Lineage OS recovery. For that, just type in ADB reboot recovery and your device will now reboot to the Lineage OS recovery. The process will take around 10 to 15 seconds. So let's wait for the time frame. In the meantime, make sure that you have the Magisk app in the platform tools folder. It has been converted to zip as well. So re-verify both these things. If that's well and good, you could see my phone has now booted to Lineage OS recovery. Just a minute. Yes. So from there, you now have to select apply update, then choose apply from ADB. Let me focus it. Yes. Select apply from ADB. Once that is done, our phone is now in the ADB sideload mode. So now launch the command prompt inside the platform tools folder. 
and type in adb side load followed by the name of the matches file in our case it's simply matches.zip let me re-verify and sh show you the same so we have named it to matches and the extension is zip so type in adb side load name of the matches file along with the extension now hit enter though you will now see that the lineage os is trying to install the matches zip file but you will now get a error message which signifies signature verification failed so why is this happening well this is not an error but just a warning message this is because the matches has not been signed by lineage os and it will always give you a prompt whenever you try to flash any file which is not from the lineage os family for example if you flash any mod if you flash recovery if you flash g apps or any file as said that is not a part of lineage os you will get this prompt since we are not flashing matches and it is also not a part of lineage we are getting this prompt that's not a cause of concern just tap on yes and the installation will restart rather resume from there itself the process should take a few minutes and on the command screen you would see that it might get stuck at 33 percent or at 47 percent that's not a cause of concern just check out the live status from your phone itself on your phone it will show the live status of flashing and mounting of every file whereas in this command prompt window you will see that the process might get stuck at 33 percent so that's not a cause of concern let's wait for the time frame it usually takes around 35 to 40 seconds so the process is now going on and it will now patch the ram disk and patch the boot image your device might get stuck at flashing new boot image and this process takes the maximum amount of time so please be patient while that is going on once that is done your phone should reboot to the recovery and from there we could access the os so you could see we are getting the done message and the task completed with status zero this signifies that the process is now complete and we could now reboot our phone to the os so just tap on reboot system now our device will now reboot to the os and the first boot will take a few additional seconds this is because our boot partition has been patched by magisk so the first boot will take up some time and as of now while we have flashed the magisk we have only done so in the back end in the front end you will not get any magisk app let me show you what i mean while the phone is booting so let me show you once that happens that we have already installed a magisk app but that has only happened in the back end in order to interact with the magisk app and download modules there is no such app installed on our phone right now so i'll show you once the phone gets booted up and also show you how to rectify that issue so let's wait for the time frame as mentioned before the first boot might take a few additional seconds for the new boot partition to be repacked so let's wait till that happens so our phone is, has now booted and we have already flashed the matches via side load but if i show you my device as at this point in time there is no magic app so we will now have to just simply install the magic app as a normal apk file for that download the magic app from the link guide make sure to download the same version that you have flashed on your phone in our case we have downloaded flash the version 25.2 so download the apk file and then transfer it to your phone via the pc if you are not getting your phone over here then go to the prompt on your phone and then you should get a usb file transfer mode make sure to select file transfer if you are not getting any prompt here as well then go to settings then go to system go to developer option and search for default usb configuration and under default usb configuration you should select file transfer so go here then from here make sure to select file transfer as you could see and your phone will be showed here now what you have to do is download the magic app and this time we have to use the apk file itself not the zip file so download the apk and place it on your phone as you could see i've already done so on my internal storage so place the apk file on your device anywhere will do but just keep in mind that this time we are using the apk file once you have made the transfer open the file manager app on your phone this is the official file manager from lineage os so open it and then go to the go to your device and select the magic apk it, select it using any app of your choice let's choose package installer always and you will now get a warning prompt tap on continue and then it will ask you to update the app because we have already installed the backend files that is why we are not getting the install message rather we are getting the update message so just tap on update and it will take a few seconds to install once that is done tap on open but then tap on allow as you could see next to the magic section we are still getting installed as na which is not available but here we need to use we, we should have got the yes message since we are getting na what you have to do is you have to restart your phone now so let's do that process so tap on the long press the power key and select restart 
Your phone will now restart and then we will install a few additional dependency. These steps are not required well when using a stock ROM, but since we are dealing with a custom ROM, the process is slightly longer in case of routing a custom ROM. So let's wait for the phone to restart. And as mentioned before, the steps are exactly the same across all the Android devices, which is using the latest Linux OS 20 based on Android 13. So you could carry out these steps across all the devices and our phone is now booting up. So what we have done till now, we have flashed the Magisk zip file via side load and then simply install the Magisk app. Upon launching the Magisk app, I had showed you that it's still showing as install versions next to it's showing NO, NA, not available. That we have to get the version as shown in the photo you are seeing and we are getting a version here. As of now, it's showing NA. This means that the Magisk installation is not, is not complete. So we will now complete the process. So let's wait for the time frame while it's booting up. It takes a few additional seconds. Now our phone is booted. And what you have to do is now again launch the Magisk app. So let me bring it to the home drawer. So now launch the Magisk app and you will get a pop-up which will ask you to require additional setup. So just tap on OK and Magisk will now restart your phone in 5 seconds. As you could see at the bottom, I'm getting a prompt. So Magisk will now again restart the phone. But while this time our phone is being restarted, Magisk will install some additional dependency in the backend. And once the installation is done, it will automatically restart our phone. And this time when our phone restarts, the installation will be successful and our phone will be rooted. So let's wait for the time frame. This time again, Magisk will take a few additional seconds to make our phone boot because it's patching the boot image and installing a few additional dependency. So let's wait while that is going on. And this is the final time where we have to restart our phone because as of now, the Magisk had installed some backend files as well. So we have to do that task. Once that is done, let me now show you. I will also show you the root status for that. So let's now wait for our boot device to boot up. It should again only take a few additional seconds for the process to complete. And we will then get the yes message, rather the version number next to the installed version. Currently, we were getting the NA, which means not available and Magisk was not able to install on our phone. So now that the phone has restarted, let me now again relaunch the Magisk app. And as you could see, we are now getting the version number next to the installed section. As you could see, we are getting the version 25.2. So this signifies that our device has been rooted successfully. Let's now re-verify using the app. So first and foremost, let's launch the root checker app. And now if I tap on verify root, I will get a magic prompt. So tap on grant and you could see our phone is now rooted successfully using the Lineage OS 20. Likewise, if I open the Termux app and I execute a command such as su super user, this time if I hit enter, I get a prompt from magic. If I tap on grant, then I have got access to the system partition and now I could execute the root command. So guys, this was all from this video on how you could route the Linux OS 20, which is based on Android 13. If you have any queries with respect to any of the instruction given here, please let us know in the comment section. And guys, please subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.